This is the True Real Estate 911 podcast with Lisa True. Lisa will share up to date real estate information with you that you need to know. Welcome to True Real Estate 911. It's Brian Mudd along with your local real estate pro, Lisa True. And on today's show, we're going to talk about the international buyer. We have the continuation of a trend that's been going on, we can say it for years now, which is pretty exciting. And that is when it comes to international buyers, they're coming here more than any other state. Before we get started on that particular topic today, I want to remind you that if you're not already there, well, go to truerealestate911.com. That's truerealestate911.com. It is the best local resource you're going to find for real estate information. Once you go there, it makes perfect sense. You can search the MLS like a real estate pro in real time so much better than some of those other sites out there like Zillow. And then... Well, you can always reach out to the Trues, whether you're buying, you're selling, you have questions seven days a week, they're here to help you. Just call 561-972-8326. That's 561-972-8326. Lisa, today's real estate market, we've talked about the changes that are going on. Before long, we're going to be talking about season. How are things moving in the Palm Beaches? I feel like season is uh, kind of like lobster season. We're having a mini season, (laughs) right? Because it's not like our regular season. And yet many people that are just over winter, they don't want to risk it. So they have been looking at property and looking to buy property earlier than what we normally see. So Many of our properties that are in active adult communities or maybe condominiums are going under contract because the buyers are coming sooner. Now I'm hungry and wanting some butter sauce to come (laughs) along with. (laughs) All right, so let's talk about the international buyer. This is something that you've uh, tracked for a very long time, and you've done an exceptional job at marketing, too, uh, to ensure that you're maximizing whatever the opportunities are for listings that you take on right here in South Florida. We see, once again, that uh, Florida came out on top. This is something that was the first, I believe, what was it, two or three years ago, the first time Florida ever edged out California. Once upon a time, New York was high on the list. We're seeing that it's not just within the United States that people are choosing Florida over other states, but certainly when it comes to that international buyer. Yes, we were very excited the very first time that we became number one because it was always California and then New York was higher on the list. And one day, I think, especially when our prices started to fall so low, people started to look from all over the world at our great paradise here in Florida. And they realized that it's much more affordable than both California, obviously, and New York. And in many cases, it's easier for so many people to get to us with the ease of having three major airports and one substantially uh, with Miami being just, you know, an hour away. So we have retained that number one spot and we get 19% of all the international buyers right here in Florida. That is pretty remarkable. And when we're talking about foreign buyers, a lot of people immediately think of the Canadians for all the obvious reasons. They, by and large, have been traditionally the biggest foreign buyers of real estate in South Florida. But what's fascinating is over the past couple of years, that's not even the case in terms of new buyers in Florida. No, I mean, there for a while, actually, our Canadian influence really was uh, decreased dramatically because obviously the affordability was kind of turned upside down on our Canadian buyers. Yes, they have a lot of equity in, in especially places like Toronto and uh, Vancouver. They, they're they seeing a lot of real estate continued growth. And yet when they came here and they looked at our prices increasing and obviously the difference of the dollar, they were having kind of sticker shock of what it was going to cost. And many of those became, instead of buyers, renters for the winter. Now, last year, we've started to see them come back around a little bit. And yet, thank goodness that we're watching the trends because we're kind of trying to get ahead of where we think the buyers are going to be coming from and starting to market to them. Uh, We have people from almost every country searching on our website. I can see the country and the origin. Um, Every time we travel, we're building those relationships of people that can help get the word out that we know the local market and we're here to help. Yeah. And for folks who aren't aware and they might be surprised, China on top yet again. 
Uh, you know, that for a long time, it makes sense that you would see the Asian influence in parts of California. Are we seeing more of that influence in South Florida? We are. And one of the things that we're seeing, especially with the Chinese buyer, is they are much more likely to buy two types of things. Those wow properties, something that they can kind of say, look at what I own. So the big estates, uh, the condos with stunning views. And the other thing that they are most likely to purchase is a property for student housing. So in areas and cities in Palm Beach County where they're, they're, where we have the university influence, they are not going to probably put their, their children that are attending in a dorm. They're most likely going to buy something for their student to live in. Makes a lot of sense. Now, when we're taking a look at the rest of the buyers, we'd heard the story about the Russians for a while in South Florida, but we're actually seeing some other countries I hadn't even seen in here, uh, like India, for example, that are now showing up significantly. Yes, we're seeing uh, India. And it, it's funny because all of a sudden I'm starting to see a little bit more uh, interest uh, it hasn't quite come maybe to uh, purchases yet, but interest from Turkey again. So it is um, very interesting to kind of watch. I feel like our website's like the United Nat- Nation sometimes <laughs> and just really paying attention to who's who's looking, what is happening in um, their economies that might influence that it's a right time to consider um a a purchase here for either a second home or maybe even a permanent home. Now, when we are taking a look at uh, some of the other states, you, you, we've talked about Florida being on top, 19% of all buyers. California is number two, Texas three. Then uh, you, you have a two-way tie for fourth between Arizona and New York. It's pretty interesting to see the drop-off. It really is Florida, California, and then everything else. In terms of international buyers, what are we most competing against in Florida? Well, I think that international buyers are obviously looking at Palm Beach, especially if they're looking for those wow properties. Uh, if they're looking at lifestyle, I think our lifestyle is just, it can't be beat in my personal opinion. And also the ease to get here. I mean, it's one of the things I love about living in Palm Beach. If you're traveling much, you really have so many options. I can hop on the tri-rail even and be in Miami in an hour at the airport and fly direct to many places. Or I can pop for ease to uh, PBI right here in uh, West Palm or Fort Lauderdale, which is also a great option. And there are as well some direct flights out of Fort Lauderdale. The other thing that I think that we obviously have to recognize is they're also looking at Miami. Miami, Miami Beach, um, Miami, Miami Beach prices are, are you know, obviously have, have been increasing. When you go down there, you see construction everywhere. You see towers literally everywhere where they're building more and more condos. And then, you know, Mickey Mouse. Mickey gets a lot of uh, interest for the, the foreign uh, buyer and especially the foreign investor as well because prices are still affordable. They are great uh, Verbo, uh, Airbnb type products. Uh, just because so many uh, people do vacation there and go see Mickey Mouse and want to stay someplace for a week. Uh, We're here, people, yes, they come to visit for a week. And yet a lot of our visitors, our seasonal visitors are staying for a month or two or three. Interesting. I mean, there is a lot of dichotomy in all the different geographies that you're talking about. And uh, so when you're talking about the, the properties that are selling best, with these foreign buyers. What's selling most right now in the Palm Beaches? Luxury properties, uh, wow properties, unique properties. I mean, just to give you perspective, our, you know, if, if you're looking at uh, you know, a median price, and this is a, a Florida median price, not a um, you know, Palm Beach, ours is higher, but at 292.4, then the Chinese buyers, their median price is four thirty nine one. Hmm, okay. So that kind of gives you the difference of the, what they're looking at, which which is you know almost double uh, of what you know our median price is. So are, if that were transferable, with us being in the uh, mid three fifties in the Palm Beaches, that would indicate a price over five hundred generally for the the buyers that are looking internationally, which is you know a, a pretty good uh, pretty good barometer. Are we seeing luxury properties perform any better here of late? We've kind of had fits and starts of progress over the past year. 
It, they are better than they were a couple of months ago, and yet it's still a buyer's market. There's still great opportunities. And it's here's the most important thing that I can say today. It's very local. I have some luxury communities that sell instantly. I have some that are very challenged with not months of inventory, years of inventory in. And one of the things, in, and you know, if you're waiting, this is part of the the uh, kind of strategy and philosophy that goes behind selling is when you're ready, go ahead and put it on the market. Because what people are doing is they're waiting and waiting and waiting, waiting for that extra, you know, $10,000, $20,000. And then all of a sudden, a great sale happens and a bunch of people in the neighborhood go, well, I'd sell it for that price. <laughs> and all of a sudden you have a flipped market because you have too many homes on the market and now buyers have all these options. We're seeing this a lot right now where neighborhoods are flipping. Now, it may be a temporary flip, but neighborhoods are flipping very quickly. So when there's a window, you take it if you want to sell. When you see nothing for sale, get your home on the market. If you say, look, I could sell it now, I could sell it in three months or six months, take advantage of those windows because they do, the window opens and the windows shut. And so that is probably the most interesting thing I'm seeing in the market right now, how quickly markets are flipping. Now, I think some of that is a temporary flip and it will calm down. The challenge is if you all of a sudden get a bunch of motivated sellers and there's a lot of competition and they start reducing the price, then it affects future sales and future values. So just take the opportunity when you are ready to sell, stop waiting for that extra little bit because it actually could cost you thousands of dollars. It's great perspective, and it makes perfect sense. And I'm thinking about some of what I've seen that resembles what you're talking about, about how something sells, and then all of a sudden you see a bunch of others grow up at the same time, then nothing sells for a while. Uh, so look for those opportunities. And, of course, you can help guide us on that. Now, if you'll talk a little bit about the difference that goes on with you. I mean, for some folks that are, are hearing, okay, well, it's great that there is so much interest in Florida, South Florida, uh, for international buyers. What does it mean to me as it per, per, portends to what you do with the True Group? What is different about your approach and, and why this is so highly relevant? Well, I believe that, first of all, we have to market it to market any property to three different buyers. Obviously, the local person that is moving within South Florida, that may be Palm Beach County, Martin County, Broward, or Dade County. Then the second person is the Northeast buyer. So somebody sitting in the Northeast that is is transitioning to call Florida their home. And then the third is our interna international buyers and understanding which countries the greatest potential the lifestyle equals. So are they coming to escape winter for a vacation home and sit on the beach? That's a little bit different than maybe a different buyer that's that's buying a $3 million property. And so just being very clear on the missing, I call it a missing person report. <laughs> so our marketing starts actually, I think we're one of the few that do this. We start with who are we looking for? And it's not one person, by the way. It's multiple kind of um, called an avatar or a missing person. We kind of describe them. You know, how what what do they like to do? Uh, how often are they going to use it? How much money do they need to make? All that information, and then we can then get the right properties in front of the right people because we know who we're looking for. We're not just doing this mass marketing to all people saying, okay, here's this property. Um, if I want a beach lifestyle, don't show me something in Loxahatchee, right? I mean, it just doesn't make sense. So we are really narrowing down and we're doing that for all three of the buyers locally, nationally, or internationally. And that kind of um, approach really has been successful for us and for our clients. Yeah, it's a lot different than just having a listing go up on the MLS and hoping it all works out. <laughs> and ultimately, you're talking about creating that kind of an experience, that added opportunity to attract more attention to a listing compared to many other agents and ultimately not costing any more in the process. Well, and w one of the things that, that I'm proud of is that Steve and I are still running our company. We are not the brand. We are not the face. We are not the 
the image. When you call the number on the website, 90% of the time, you're speaking to me. When you ask a question on the website, I'm seeing that. And I am personally creating the missing person report with my marketing team, and we're creating the marketing plan. I have my hands on it. I have been studying marketing for years. And when people say, well, you know, I can hire anybody, you can, but you can't get my expertise. And you can't get the problem solving expertise that that we bring. You can't get the work ethic and the commitment and the innovation and I love what I do. Steve always says, you know, one day he'll retire and that he'll drag me out kicking and screaming. <laughs> and he's probably right, because as long as I love it, I'll do it because I believe I bring huge value to our clients and to our team. And like I said, I love what I do every day. So um, I wake up before my alarm every single morning because I can't wait. Um, I realized the other day I heard somebody say that um, I'm a hurricane And the people around me, their job is to kind of be the calm in the storm because my (laughs) brain is constantly creating new opportunities. And so I've got great people around me that can then help get those opportunities out there. But that is what I think makes us different is that our expertise and then also our commitment to doing what it takes so our clients can have what they want. If the only hurricane we have this season is Hurricane Lisa, I will definitely take it. Um, <laughs> yeah, me and you both. <laughs> the uh, the true is that number. If you'd like to talk to Lisa, well, just reach out at 561-972-8326. Buying, selling questions about the international market, about how the trues are, are targeting and, and how, what a difference it can make for you. 561-972-8326. And again, if you're not already there, go to truerealestate911.com.